Hey guys, Orin Tech here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you how to run Windows 10 in a virtual machine, so I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure to smash the subscribe button with notifications on. That would really help me out. You're probably wondering, why should I subscribe with notifications on? Well, it's because I upload every other day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So I hope you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm on my Chromebook. Before we start this process, you'll need Linux mode enabled. Links in the description below on how to do that. After that, you want to go to this website, which is also in the link in the description below. After that, go to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, click that, go up, scroll down to Linux apps, and open the terminal. Go ahead and copy this one command. Control C, Control Shift V. Click Y, click Enter, and wait for this to be done. All right, guys, so once this is done, go ahead and close the Linux terminal. Go to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Click that. Go up. Scroll down to Linux apps. Open Virtual Machine Manager. You'll have this one right here, but you probably won't have this one right here. Just go ahead and when you select this one, click File and click Add Connection. And leave it on key E-M-U-K-V-M -E and click Connect. Then this will appear. Highlight it. Click File. Click New Virtual Machine click forward then go to this website which is also in the link in the description below confirm your language and download 64 bit after that go to the files app find your file search up win 10 it'll be right here drag it into the linux files and wait for it to be done copying then go ahead and click browse browse local highlight it and click open, click forward, add the memory to about, I don't know, 9,000, but if you don't have enough storage, go to the settings, go to Linux beta, click on it, click disk size, change it to 20 or 50. I'm gonna change mine to 50, close that, reopen it, and change this really high. So I changed mine to about 10,000, click forward, and then leave it on maybe how many gigabytes you have in your Linux disk. Just go ahead and if you chose 20 and then leave it on that. If you chose 40, leave it on that 50. Just make sure it's a good amount. 20 or 40, anywhere in between there is good. Click forward. And if it says there's not enough storage, just go ahead and narrow it down just a little bit. I'm um, just narrow it down to 30. Click forward, then click finish. Once this opens, just go ahead and it's going to say this. Just go ahead and go to view, full screen. And then it's going to go ahead and start loading up Windows and the installation you will install Windows on. And yeah, we're just going to skip ahead to when we have to install it. All right, guys. So once you're at this page, choose your language. Click next. And then if it gets this little black bar, just bring it to the top middle of the screen and bring it back down. It will disappear. Click install now and wait for this to be done. Once you're on this page, click I don't have a product key. Choose your Windows version. I'm just gonna do Windows 10 Home. Click Next. Scroll down to the very bottom. Click I accept the terms. Click Next. Click Custom, install Windows only. Click your drive. Click Next. Wait for it to be done installing Windows. for watching make sure to like subscribe turn on post notifications to never miss an upload also subscribe for a shout out comment up and subscribe to get a shout out in my next video here are the shout outs for this video on the screen right now go subscribe to them subscribe to me when they shout out to you guys enjoy windows 10 in a virtual machine on your chromebook and it's urban tech signing out <laughs>